Greetings. In third lecture of our tutorial, we will try to uh, make uh, some things interesting, more interesting in this game. First, uh, we will uh, add some uh, better visibility for these props. You will find uh, one PNG file wooden box in uh, repository folder uh, then you can uh, use this uh, rigid body created here add a sprite 2d node and when the sprite 2d node is added go to texture and uh, load this uh, this png file then uh, you can do some scaling uh, and uh, set it right so collision shape need to be above we will not use this mesh instance you can set it as uh, not visible and uh, this sprite uh, can be scaled uh, maybe 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 like this okay let's try like this also, we need collision shape to be put. If you want to do it manually, you can do it manually. Here. Try to make it as better as possible. Uh, okay, we have a grid snapping. So this maybe is good. Let's try something with sprite okay for a beginning it's okay let's see how this will look like in a game okay as you see here we have it like this okay let's try to see interesting as you know we use uh, static body velocity here we will uh, reset it to zero so now this object won't have velocity but we will use a rigid body constant force so go to inspector window uh, and find uh, constant force uh, property group here and you will find force and torque so use uh, this force and you can change it uh, to some other value for example eight kilogram per pixel maybe and now we will see what we get so we get a movement here as you see and uh, this look like uh, object are under the influence of uh, something like a wind as you see here and game become more interesting you need <laughs> okay also we can uh, change few things uh, we can change this location if you change it uh, go to go to scene and also this position need to be changed here so this is the position of the snapping uh, of the spawning spawning so uh, this can be this can be created okay uh, let's let me let me teach you something so go in this corner uh, press left mouse m once and move so you will see what location is on the screen so this is 164 5 and 20 for example okay we will try to do it we will try to change something here so transformation is uh, 20 160 something let's do it like this okay and uh, also for the spawning uh, this is here so 20 and 165 let's see what we get f5 or micro button 
so let's see what we get now okay we have some kind of 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 uh, interesting actions and as you see here they are moving under the influence and under the influence of the force and you can do some things so if uh, force is not enough second spavner will move it as you see here interesting you can uh, change it uh, if you like something more speedy you will need to change the this value so uh, the value of uh, of this force so this is a um, constant force here you can also experiment with torque this is some kind of uh, rotation and with epsilon values to make something uh, more playable okay good uh, now uh, let's try to to do something about our animation here so we can change this force to zero just for now and uh, we will try to do something about animation what can we do we need to use uh, scripting so we can use this animated sprite and two animation uh, we have default animation is running we can add another one for idle so something like this add animation and then uh, use it like uh, before add frames from sprite this is frames and uh, we will need to find some frame we like it but uh, for three just to set it right it's explained in previous lecture something for idle position we need something for idle position this can be good for idle position so one frame only add one frame and we have one frame this animation will be idle animation uh, for now so we have default and new animation you can change this uh, values you can rename it like running on idle if you like so this can be running or run and this can be idle or something like this and uh, we will need to use this character body here to add some scripting uh, for now we have direction here so direction and speed and velocity here uh, it's all connected with direction and this value of direction is important for us so we will um, write something like this and what direction this is just for you to to see what is happening in output window so when uh, when we start a game and we move right direction is one and we move left direction is minus one so this can be good for our animation uh, okay uh, this thing uh, solve our uh, movement uh, here is velocity solved and uh, for um, for animation we can use uh, direction parameter so direction parameter can be good for for it uh, let's start with something simple so if direction is uh, if uh, direction equal one what animation will be played so we need first to get to node so get to node get node what kind of node uh, node we use before so this uh, animated sprite like this and find animated sprite 2d as you see here and then uh, we can use uh, we can use some properties for animated sprite uh, play for example property or animation property let me show you i hope this is explained in documentation 
open documentation, da, 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 da. animation, animation. Animation uh, can be used to set the value of the animation. And uh, auto play, okay, speed scale method is playing pause play. Play okay, stop okay. Good. So if direction is one, we need to uh, set uh, animation as uh, running. So animation, animation will be something like run. And uh, because we have animation set uh, here automatically, to run automatically, we will uh, change it. So auto play and load will be false. And only if direction is uh, one, we will have animation run. Let's see what I do or not do. We have nothing here and nothing here. We need to set it properly. So get node animated sprite animation run. So we set animation uh, and uh, we uh, our animation is in um, stopping state. So we need to change it to play. OK, copy and let me try something like play will be method this is method so to playing let's try now let's try now okay so when we move to the right animation start playing this uh, can be also good if we move to the left so if direction equal one or or direction equal minus one or, or direction equal minus one, the animation will, will go. And the next thing for us is to find the, how to create idle animation. So now if I move to other side, I will also have animation. And this side also animation. But what if I don't move? What will happen? Uh, this will... good. It will be good to use this print direction here to understand uh, the direction of this input get axis. So we have uh, left and right uh, settings for movement using arrow keys, and. Uh, direction is uh, one to the right uh, minus one to the left and zero when we uh, don't move so when the character don't move now we need to to use this uh, two animations set it here idle or and run how to use it here in a direction uh, we can uh, create it uh, like this so we will um, Get this node animation sprite and we will set animation. So animation will be uh, run, I think so. And then we will use method I show you before. So method is simple play. If you don't want to write it like this, just copy paste. Uh, code you want so direction whenever we move this is working okay next thing is to create it for the idle when is the idle active so when the zero is here direction uh, we will create it like this so velocity speed animation will be idle and uh, we can try it like this to see okay idle moving idle moving good next thing uh, is to use this flip horizontal 
just to flip this animation, nothing more. So here we will use uh, flip horizontal to false because it's okay. And we need to flip it. We need to flip it. We need to set the direction. Okay, we can create it like this. If direction is uh, one, uh, we will have this part of code without flipping, but we will use elif, so else if direction is uh, minus one, so it's left minus one, moving to the left, it all will be the same, just we will write it here to true, so changing idle left uh, right left okay not so great but it's looking good we have jumping now we can uh, set rigid body force here i forget maybe seven and we have a game we have some gameplay uh, game, gameplay means you need to do something in a game. For example, you need to jump over these boxes. And boxes are moving <laughs> like some uh, like some props. As you see here, very interesting. Oops. We can stop the box. Interesting. Okay. We do a good job. <laughs> okay. Next thing uh, is, uh, for example, you done a prototyping with collision shapes. You add some um, graphics. We add few graphics for a props, uh, character, background, and then you need uh, to create it as a mobile. We set good initial settings. So for a mobile with hard height orientation. Now we only need to export it uh, for uh, some mobile flat platform. Mobile platforms are usually Android or um, you can create it for a web and then open, open it um, for, in a web with some kind of um, device. Any device with a browser will allow you to see your... Uh, file uh, created for uh, html so your game will be some kind of uh, a game in uh, in a web space how to export it as a html group of files you need to go to project and then go to export for uh, web if you don't have this uh, preset here, you need to go to add. So if you don't have uh, settings for export, if you are first time setting ex uh, export, go to add, click once and select what you like. Uh, I will explain how to export for web. So exporting for web can be some kind of straightforward process. So uh, after that, uh, you will uh, get some kind of information for downloading um, uh, some files. For example, if we select Android, uh, we only need few files. But how to explain you this? Let me see. OK, I have this also. Uh, I have all of this uh, necessary downloaded on my system, but when you uh, try to use it, you will need to download some kind of files. So you will need to um, down, uh, select option download and install. And after that, you can go again here to export files. Uh, simple settings are to write the name for the export and 
and uh, maybe maybe nothing more maybe okay for the simple simplest export just write the name of your project go to export project and you will get some kind of file starting with um, some html file so you will get a group of files but um, one initial file uh, will be html file you can rename it uh, as an index html and you can uh, uncheck this export with a debug group of files and if you click save you will get uh, all you need uh, for html uh, game for some kind of uh, web um, portal like itch for example uh, it is good for beginners for testing not to make some money but it's good to test some initial um, initial uh, mobile project and uh, they also resolve some uh, troubles with um, two kind of uh, html headers and i think this will be easy 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 for you so this is all in um, this tutorial this is all in this uh, lecture if you want something uh, interesting some other tutorials some tutorials on things you will like to see you need to comment and uh, maybe some things will be visible in our next tutorial Thank you for watching all of this tutorial. Have a good day. Goodbye.